Hi everyone, we are working with um, letterheads and we're going to add some new features to them. So go ahead and um, open up Racetrack Letterhead and you'll notice that it's already created for you. It has a um, title at the top in large letters and then at the bottom is the contact information and what was designed here was a thick red border around the edge of it. So what we want to do now is create a watermark and if um, you recall in Word we created watermarks um, in the background of the page so it's not really a clip art picture it's set up in the background. So in order to do a watermark in Publisher you have to go to the master page which is similar to a header or footer. So if you click view and then select master page it'll take you into the master page area and I just wanted to share with you the shortcut key is control M and it takes you to that master page area that's the one where everything is in yellow and what happens is you don't actually get to see what was on the, the original document so we're gonna put in the middle here a, um, a watermark so click the insert tab and choose um, picture and then you go to where you've saved your pictures and it's going to be called flame. flame and then insert and you want to just make it a little bit bigger Oops. and remember you have the letterhead at the top and the contact in at the information on the bottom so don't have it um, take up the entire page just remember that you have to have room for the letterhead at the top and the contact information on the bottom now if we were to actually um, keep it like this bright when you actually typed letter contact information here, you wouldn't be able to see the letter. So we have to change the transparency. So if you right click on the, on the picture, choose format picture and select for the transparency 95% and then OK. So it fades it out. So now click away from the picture and you can close out of the master page or control M and it takes you back to your document. If you don't like the placement of um, the flame, you would have to go back into the master page and then now you can click the picture and move it over slightly if you want. It's up to you. I'm just going to move it just with the arrow so it's perfect and then close out. That's fine. So go ahead and file, save this, save as and save it where you keep all your documents and call it Racing Letterhead. So save this as Racing Letterhead. And then we're going to continue working with it. So if you have it open still, that's fine. And what we're working on here is what's called Kern Characters. And I'll explain that. So Kern tracking um, has to do with the pairing of letters. Sometimes the letters um, look too close together and you want to spread them apart. Um, and we're going to work with that and I'll show you um, when we work with this assignment. So if you want to make it larger so you can see everything, maybe 100%. Um, the first thing you'll look at is the T and the R are very close together. The, it's hard to see the space between them. So if you were to select both the T and the R and then at the very top from your textbook, um, text box tools, click format. And I'm having going to change you to go to draw tools format. We want the measurement. So go ahead and double click measurements or just click it once. And what you want to do is um, this one right here is called kerning. And I'm going to increase it to two. And do you notice I just clicked it and it increased it to six because it goes in increments of six. But we really want just two. So just type two and enter. So it gave a little bit more space. Then what we'll do it with the R and the O, there's too much space between the R and the O. So for that one, we're going to change it to negative 2, bringing it closer together. So the um, T and the R separated it a little more, and then the R and the O um, brought it closer together. If we were doing this in Word, you probably wouldn't be that specific, but they do have that feature, um, which is called um, spacing. Um, so the other thing we'll do is if you scroll down to the bottom of the um, where the contact information is on the letterhead and if you just click anywhere in that 
that text box, Control A selects everything. Then click the Home tab, and there's a feature called um, Character Spacing. And um, if you were to try a different ones at um, Options, Very Tight brings it really, really close together, Normal. And then we're going to go with there's Very Loose, where it spreads it out completely. But we're going to select Just Loose. So it's, um, it's not too wide and it's not too tight. So that's Loose for the Character Spacing. So I'm going to click um, over in the bottom right corner, whole page, and um, click. so if we were to actually want to type um, some information about um, as a letter in this, um, you have to, again, remember we did this before, create a text box. So insert, draw a text box, and again, try to have it the full width of the letter from be just below the letterhead to right above the contact information at the bottom and this is where you would type your information that would go in the letter so go ahead and select the um, font size will be 12 and then we're going to set a tab because we want the date typed at center point so um, you're going to click so this is three this would be three and a half so right in the middle here would be 3.25 and you just click right on it and then you set a tab there if you wanted to check or to do it yourself manually you would click home on um, the paragraph dialog box launcher and then at the top tabs and there you can see it it was set at 3.25 so that's perfect then what you'll do is actually press tab and you want the current date insert and date and time select the third option and then click OK and then enter twice and that takes you back to the left margin so before we type any more of the letter let's go back to the text box so if you just click anywhere in the middle of the document your text box should be selected select the drawing tools format and then click measurement and we want to make sure that our um, text box is the accurate measurements so what you'll do is make sure the horizontal position is um, if you hover over it says horizontal position is one inch the vertical position should be two and then the um, screen width would be 6.5 that was a little bit higher and then the height is 7.25 and then if you want to close out of um, your measurement box you don't need it anymore you can go ahead and close out of it and then within the letter um, text box control a selects everything and then what you'll do is go back home and in the paragraph dialog box click the line spacing after paragraph to zero and then okay so you don't have that extra gaps everywhere so this is our racetrack letterhead that you saved as racing letter so at this point if you want to save it and um, and get back to it in a, in a few minutes I'm going to go into the part two which is um, getting this letter prepared for merging which you would merge addresses into a letter so what happens is you're going to type one um, letter the starter letter or the template letter that has the same information that goes in, into every single letter and then you'll type um, contact information who it's going to to several different um, recipients and then um, you type the letter once you have a list of recipients and then you merge them and as many as recipients as you have is how many letters you'll have so that's the part two of this so I'm going to end this one now and we'll continue with part two so go ahead and save this and we'll continue with it